Welcome to Lotus Yoga and Counseling. This is Kailani. Today we have a guided meditation based in some Native American spiritual practice. All you'll need for this meditation is your time, attention, and maybe just a comfortable place to consider the meditation a place where you won't be interrupted. You might pause the video here to grab whatever you need and set yourself up and press play when you're ready. And begin by closing the eyes. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth as if you were fogging up a mirror. On your next inhale, breathe even deeper, filling up all the cavities and spaces in your body. Exhale even deeper and longer. Let everything go. Find a natural rhythm to your breath as if you were the sound of the waves lapping on the beach. With every inhale, imagine you're breathing in some goodness, the offerings of the earth. And with every exhale, Imagine that you are releasing anything that no longer serves you. Releasing anything that is not currently helping you be your best self. Begin to visualize a vast forest. A forest so dense that you cannot see through it. It has recently rained. Dew covers the leaves and plants. Puddles have formed in the dirt. The moss is spongy. And the earth smells fragrant. The wind rushes through the trees and foliage and the branches creak as they sway. The forest feels alive. Birds flit by, flying from tree to tree. They sing and call to one another. Squirrels run up and down the bark on the trees and remind you that nature is playful and spontaneous. Sunbeams travel through the trees and break into rays which land upon the earth. The intricate patterns of light are stunning and warm your skin. You are the only person for miles, but you do not feel alone. The animals are your companions. The spirits are your guides. As you travel through the forest, the sound of rushing water reaches your ears. Traverse the forest and find yourself at a clear mountain stream. Kneel beside it, cup your hands in the cold water and drink heavily. 
It is the cleanest, purest water you have ever tasted. Sit beside the stream, in the shade or in the sun. Watch the water flowing over the rocks. Leaves float down the stream. Salmon swim in the deep. Take in a deep breath of fresh air. And bask in the present moment. You begin to wonder where the source of the stream is. And notice that there is a mountain peak in the distance. Somehow, you feel it calling to you, beckoning you to come closer. Leave the stream behind and walk toward the peak. Notice the fallen nurse logs, animals, plants, and insects along the way. There is something you cannot name and cannot see which calls you toward the mountain peak. It is something which you inherently trust. You assume you have walked for quite some time and covered an unknown distance, but your body is not tired the weather has not changed. The sun has not moved. Time has stopped for you. Suddenly, you come to the top of the mountain peak. Up here, everyone sees something different. You can see in all directions. Larger birds, such as eagles, hawks, and falcons, live up here, floating on the wind, gliding effortlessly through the sky. The mountain spirit, which called you to this place, lives here. She sees the weather, the changes in the seasons, the animals being born, having babies of their own, dying and giving their bodies back to the earth. The mountain spirit is ancient. its roots deeply firm in the ground. She has seen thousands and thousands and thousands of visitors. She is wise. She is humble. She is strong and steadfast. The spirit has led you here and has a message for you. It might be a word, a phrase, a feeling or a sentiment, maybe an image. You will know what it is when it comes to you. Do not try to force the message to come to the surface.
You will know it when you see it or feel it. And when you do, repeat it silently to yourself with awareness and feeling three times. Take your time. When you feel that the time is right, thank the mountain spirit for her wisdom and promise to take her message with you back to the present moment. Gently begin to bring some movement back to your fingers and toes. Rotate the wrists and ankles. Reach the arms up and overhead for a full body stretch. And pause here to consider the message that you have been given and how you might apply the message to your life. What obstacles might you need to take away in order for the message to come to fruition? Flutter open the eyes and return to the present moment. Thank you so much for being here.